as pupils develop their literacy skills, teachers need to respond to their ever-changing needs. Accurate diagnostic assessment can identify the next best steps for each child. This approach can lead to children being supported and challenged as appropriate and can identify where there are gaps of learning to be addressed. Teachers can use this to teach more efficiently as they will know what ground the children have already grasped and will be able to concentrate their efforts on new learning. Teachers can either adapt their teaching by changing what they teach or how they teach to best suit the needs of their pupils. For example, the simple view of reading splits reading into two interactive key elements, language comprehension and decoding. A proficient reader will be good at language comprehension and good at decoding. Other children may have a weakness in one of those areas and in some cases it may be both. This tool can be used as an effective diagnosis system to identify areas for children to develop in their reading. There is a similar model for writing but this has been less well researched. This splits writing into two key elements, transcription and composition. Some children find aspects of literacy quite challenging and this can result in them becoming disengaged. A change of approach can often reignite their interest. In some cases, activities can be too challenging and this is when scaffolding can be a really effective support. Scaffolding can provide structured help when learning a new skill. There are many different frameworks for scaffolding but they all share three main characteristics. The first of these is responsiveness to need through using accurate assessment to identify what specific areas of learning a child needs support in. The second is the fading of support. This means that over time, as the child becomes increasingly independent, they are able to reduce the support they require to complete an activity. Finally is the transference of responsibility from the teacher to the child, when the child can apply the skill independently and confidently. A key principle of scaffolding is that it should aim to provide the minimal level of support. Over time that support is gradually reduced, so the child becomes more and more independent and confident in their own writing ability. Do watch this video and see our guidance report for more detailed information. Remember there are seven other videos that support our key recommendations.